Right out tube is really good reason for this video. It's not really a good reason. I lost my snippy tool. Me flush cuts, pliers, me side cut they're gone. Today's a sad day. Anyway, moving on. Somebody asked on the live feed the other day, how do I connect my power to my house? Fan of word for how I feel about my snippy tools. Anguish. The exact anguish you're experiencing. Jaron tried to make me feel better. It's not making me feel any better. Bring back snippy tools. Come back. Come home, snippy. Okay, so this is my con my my breaker box, I guess you'd say. Right, yeah. So the way this works is we've got the incoming power here. So this is the grid. So this goes out to the street. And now normally the, that would come straight down here and then into these um, these three breakers here. And that's the GPO, uh, the power outlets one and two, and then the lights and fans. So that would come in here, in the bottom, and then out the top into the home. But what we've had set up here is instead of going straight down into here now this goes up into here which is a basically a three pole a three position Hager SF263 breaker of oh, the changeover switch so that there controls genset or mains so if it was coming from here and it was on genset it'd come up into the mains and then back out and then back down into these three and then back into the home but the way I usually use it is in genset mode so it basically comes it doesn't even come from here anymore it comes from the genset which is the battery shed or the power shed and then it comes in here and then down into these switches and then into the home so this little switch here makes it very very easy for me to go from genset to main so if I have a problem with my pip inverter I can just flick that switch and wifey doesn't know anything that's happened. It's a really good thing to put it there. You don't actually need it there, but I want it there because I want it to be able to change backwards and forwards should I ever need to. If I'm doing maintenance on anything, I just come out here, shut everything down in the house, flick that switch over to mains and nobody knows any different. So it works really, really well. Other little safety things, we've got a 63 amp here. Oh no, sorry, 32 amp here which basically comes from the grid and then into here and then into my inverter. Now that actually allows my inverter to run in bypass mode. So I can use the software within my PIP inverter to go from SBU, which is solar battery utility, back to utility again. So it actually draws power through here. And at the other end, I've got another one where the power is coming out of the inverter back over to here. So everything's nice and safe. I hope that answers the question enough. If it doesn't, ask me another question below and I'll try and fill in the gaps. I'm not an electrician, so that's just how I understand it works. And if you know where Snippy is, just let me know. I miss him a lot. See ya. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one.